Welcome to the Commentary Box. I'm Alex Jakes. Delighted to say that we're joined today by Anthony Davidson. So today, the sprint race, no pit stops, just full on pace. It's all about speed, daring, and sheer driving skill. What I wonder is in store for us today. This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector one sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector two gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector three just turn 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. And we welcome you to the Formula Two commentary box. I'm Alex Jakes. Alongside me for this one is Mr. Alex Brundle. And we've got this format in Formula Two, Alex, where the top 10, they get reversed from qualifying to form our grid. So the mid order in qualifying now become contenders for the win. Well, you've got the grid reversed, giving some drivers who wouldn't normally get it the opportunity to take a win or a podium home. They're going to be looking to snatch that opportunity if at all possible.
out for a bit of understeer when trailing the car ahead. They're going to be giving off dirty air, which is going to affect our tyres, so try to get past. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. What a great drive. What a great win for Zane Maloney. Well, the sprint win's not where the big points are handed out, but it sets them up well for tomorrow and gives a lot of confidence for the longer feature. As we can see, it's time for the podium, and I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win, and it means a great deal to this team.
Baku never fails to disappoint fans of Formula 2, so hold on tight. The cars are set on the grid and any moment will be starting today's race. Welcome to Azerbaijan. This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector 1 sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block if you like. Sector 2 gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector 3 just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. As the engineers make their last inspection of the cars, let's take a look at today's grid order for the race. Zane Maloney lines up on pole position with Zach O'Sullivan alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Crawford, Miata, Juan Manuel Correa, Martins, Bortoletto, Miney, Oli Behrman, Antonelli, Hauger, Rafael Villa Gomez, Taylor Barnard, Pepe Marti, Cordiel, Hajar and Richard Vashaw. Stanek, Colla Pinto, Fittipaldi, Paul Aaron. And now it's time to head down to the track. I'm Alex Shakes, he's Alex Brundle, and this is FIA Formula 2, where the team have spoken so well about the driver you're looking at in screen at the moment. Alex, it's great to see young talent developing like this. It's always great to have good references from across the comm box, AJ. They really are getting on well, and they're growing in experience, much like the experience that you have behind the microphone.
experience some understeer now that you're in the wake of the car ahead. Try to get past as soon as possible. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. The British driver looks up and sees the chequered flag first. Zach O'Sullivan takes the win. No tyre blankets in Formula 2, so it's a bit of a dark art to build temperature into the tyre. They've done that, and that's been the key to victory. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of motorsport, are once again back on the winner's podium today after a brilliant display of driving skill.